Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is part two of what I got for my birthday. It's gonna be a double unboxing. The first video I posted a couple uploads ago, so you should go watch it. It's a Hacker Project Gucci Balenciaga unboxing. I've been loving that bag. Now I'm excited to show you guys what this unboxing will be because I've been waiting to film this video so I could actually take it out and use the two items. I did already unbox it on my actual birthday, but I put it back in, I haven't used it, so I just want you guys to kind of feel the same excitement of the reveal. I actually wasn't expecting this gift at all because like I mentioned in my other video when we went to Vegas and we shopped around during November and I got that Hacker Project bag, that was kind of a big purchase and I wasn't expecting anything else. I wanted that to be my main gift and so I was just really excited to start using that one when my birthday came around. But it was funny how my parents gave me this gift because I was just going about my normal morning, washing my face, doing my normal stuff and then my mom was calling me downstairs and, and usually she knows that I'm upstairs like doing my stuff getting ready but she kept calling me downstairs over and over again asking if I could just come down real quick and it was weird because my brother was also downstairs and my dad was downstairs like everyone was downstairs when usually they're all in their separate like rooms doing their own thing and so I kind of had like this weird feeling but I just went along with it and so I went downstairs and then she was telling me to sit down in some random spot that I never sit in and she walked around the corner with a wrapped gift which I thought was weird because usually she doesn't even like to wrap gifts she just will throw things in a bag and I'm the one who loves when gifts are wrapped up the whole thing was just a bit confusing to me because one I wasn't expecting any more gifts and two she had wrapped a gift. Obviously, I was excited because I was getting something. Or honestly, I asked her out loud. I was like, did you just take my bag and wrap it just so I can have the enjoyment of opening a wrapped gift? But that was not the case. And this was a really good surprise because now I have two things added to my collection. If you see in my other videos, I have an obsession with Off-White. It's not just one product. I love their shoes. I love their bags, clothes, jewelry, accessories, anything Off-White. And I guess she's really caught on to that and and so she did a little shopping and surprised me for my birthday and I'm grateful that my parents treat me and they buy me things that I really love. Yeah, that was just a little backstory of how this real time unboxing went, but I'll do an unboxing for you guys so you can see what I got. Also, I'll probably be featuring these items on my Instagram or at least one of them. So you should follow me at Kylie Imani. Okay, so this first thing, it was in this black little bag and I wasn't really sure what it was because it's not big enough to be like for a bag and it's too big to be for jewelry. I don't think like clothes would fit in here. So I really honestly didn't know what it was, but I'll open it. And then right when I saw this sea foam color, I knew right away it was off-white. So I was super excited to see this. I just did an unboxing of my new off-white sneakers and it's in this same box. And we have an off-white card holder. And this is really good because I've been wanting a new card holder. Right now I just have some random, no name brand, it's literally just a random card holder to hold my ID and credit card and Zoo Pass and other cards that I just collect. So this is something that I've been looking for for a long time. Not specifically this one, but just a luxury or designer card holder. And this one is perfect because it's all black, so it's super neutral and it can go in any bag that I decide to carry. I'm not gonna go and switch out card holders because that's just a lot of effort to take out cards each time I switch out a purse because I switch out my purses a lot. So this I could just easily take out and throw in any bag and it's just black and gold, so it's super basic and there's one two three there's three slots to put cards in but you can put more than one card in each slot and then there's also a main opening right here and i just think it's really cute how it's red inside so that's a cute detail you don't actually see it so it's not distracting when you put it with other bags but when you open it like this it's a really nice red color I don't wanna stretch it out too much because it's still new. It says off-white right there. And this is a really nice thick um, 
signature arrow of off-white. If I hold it like this, you could see it's nice and sturdy on there. It's the same as my earrings. On the website, it says that it's black leather. It has the signature arrows motif. The outer and inner is completely leather. It's made in Italy. The length is 3.1 inches and the width 3.9. Even though it's just a simple, tiny gift, I was still really excited about it because I could finally have a nicer card holder. I don't have to do my own digging and searching to find a good one because there are a lot of cute card holders like at Louis Vuitton, there's cute YSL ones, Gucci ones, but there really haven't been any new ones that have stood out to me. They all are just very classic. I see all the time. And because I really love Off-White right now, this was a perfect one for my mom to pick out for me. I'm gonna be using it right away and I just think it's cute how it's like diagonal right here. It's not super plain and boring. There's still some funky aspects to it. So super grateful for this. Thank you, mom and dad. It was definitely unexpected and I really thought that was it. But then she walked around the corner with another box and so this was wrapped up in wrapping paper so I didn't know it was another off-white item it is bigger so I thought maybe it could fit some shoes or clothes I honestly thought it was maybe clothes because my size shoe wouldn't fit in here I don't think I think it's still too small unless it was maybe like slides or flip-flops I just recently got an off-white slide so I didn't really think it would be that and I definitely didn't think it would be a bag because they just got me a bag, but I will unbox now. Here's some tissue paper. And then there was a dust bag. And right away I could feel it was some sort of small handbag. And it's the Jackhammer 17 Off-White Crossbody Bag. And I don't have any pop of color bag. This is my first one. Because I'm still young and trying to build my collection, I tend to find different styles of bags and brands, but they're usually all a neutral color. So the fact that now I have this bright red color and it has this mixed metal crossbody strap and it's just a cute little size to not be overwhelmingly bright. My mom and I talk about it all the time, how we just love looking for small bags that are pops of color. like. She's always on the lookout for Chanel minis that are bright colors. But this is like perfect because I love off-white and I love red and I love crossbodies and I don't have any chain strap like this. There's just so much detail in this bag that I'll go over. I just couldn't believe I got another bag. So like I mentioned, this is the Jackhammer 17 off-white crossbody bag. It is quilted leather exterior with textile interior. Oh, I haven't even opened it yet. So. It's a magnetic closure and you could see it still has the blue sticker so I can take that off and it's gonna be super shiny. Here's the inside. Take out the paper. So it's made in Italy. Flap top with magnetic closure. This makes it easy. Just snaps right on. The signature arrow accent which we have here, and that is also on the card holder, so it's cute that they're matching. The divided interior compartment with slip pocket. So we open it. This is cool because there's a divider in the middle, which I don't think I have any small crossbody bag that has that. It's all just one big pocket and it catches all, but I don't think I own any with a divider. And then there's a card slot holder right here in the back. It's two-tone removable chain shoulder strap. So like I mentioned, this is more of a brushed look. So it's silver and then gold. And this is a cute feature on off-white stuff. So these look like little nut bolts, which is the same on the back of my earrings. And that's a nice edgy, funky detail that they like to incorporate in their products. This bag measures approximately nine inches in width, five inches height, three in depth. And the shoulder strap, this is a 21 inch drop. So those are just the details when you look at it on the website, but I actually added this. It was just placed separately in a little bag in the box when I open this. But as you know, Off-White is known for their zip tie tags and this one isn't the same material. It's much softer. I think it might be leather. I just put it through the flap in the hole right here. 
and I just like the way that looks. And I can easily take it off and remove it if I wanna make it a little more dressy and not so casual. And then another thing I saw when I was looking through the bag is it comes with these off-white tags. You'll see in a lot of the bags that they have, but, and I was looking up how to like use this and I don't wanna break it, but a lot of people, they pull this out and then they close it like this and then it's just hanging out. There's like a white string in there and then this orange zip tie and all of these tags. But I think I like to keep this inside and then I'll probably keep just this one showing. I just like the cleanliness of how this looks. But here is the bag. This soft leather I have to be careful with to take a lot of caution into not scratching it. Love the diagonal quilted look. It kind of is the same diagonal motif. This will be perfect to just throw in here. And I did already check if my phone fit and it did. I'm just, I'm using my phone right now. I think this will actually fit more than the Gucci Balenciaga bag that I got only because there's a divider so it's thicker this way. Just looking at it inside, it seems roomier. And because I wear such neutral colors most of the time, because I like my shoes to be bright and pop, it should be easy to dress this with a lot of the outfits that I have. And it's good, my mom has good style because I trust her. She doesn't have to approve things, so she kept it a surprise and I love it. I can finally use it now that I did this unboxing for you guys. I inspected it and it looks perfect there's no like loose stitching or anything because i have previous experience with my gucci ophelia it does have these four sharp corners now that i'm aware of that i will try and be careful so that there's not a whole bunch of wear and tear on those four spots definitely gonna be careful about that yeah i love this red this is definitely a signature tone of red for off-white they don't do cool tone purplish bluish red it's more of a vibrant orangey red which is perfect for the purpose of wanting a small bag like this for a pop of color here is one more up close so cute and nothing like anything I already have. Such a good surprise. If you guys have any questions about either the card holder or the bag, leave your questions in the comment section down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I will see you guys next time.